Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about the very best Plex NAS of the year. Now, if there's two subjects I talk about a lot on this channel, it is Plex and NAS. And now I'm filming my top threes of the year and all the NASs that I've seen throughout the year and all the different things I've told you about with Plex Media Server. Of course, I was going to tell you guys what are my picks for the best three NASs to buy at the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020 as a Plex Media Server. Now, Plex runs on, well, I would say, at least 70% of most commercial NAS devices these days. If the NAS has its own graphical user interface and does support the application installation, um, then absolutely you're going to be able to put Plex Media Server on your device. But the, the extent to which it will run is very, very important because Plex is a hungry, hungry beast and it only ever gets the hungrier. And if you're not utilizing a NAS that doesn't already arrive with an Intel-based CPU or maybe an AMD, effectively an x86 64-bit architecture processor, you are going to have a rough time. Don't get me wrong, there's a number of Realtek CPUs out there at the moment that allow you to install Plex. Plex Media Server, the application, will run on these NAS. You can fill it up with all your multimedia and then access it over your mobile phone, your iPad, your TV, your whatever, in the home and over the internet. You can do all of those things, but the minute you have multiple users accessing the device or the device is being utilized by other means, or Plex itself wants to push transcoding to be performed where a file is reshaped and rejiggered and changed to be more suitable for either the output device or the network environment of the device, then you are going to see a problem. Plex does things like the scraping of metadata. It has an enormous thumbnail um, arrangement to work through and lots of information in the background that is constantly being synchronized, updated and accessed by you, the viewer. So consequently, buying the right NAS for Plex is not as straightforward as just typing the word NAS into Google and then buying the first thing you see. Hello, I'm glad you found this video. But these three NASs I want to talk about today, although some of them were not released this year, are still, for me, the best three NASs you can buy right now for Plex. We have two oldies and one newie. First NAS I want to talk about today is an oldie. It's coming up on two years old, actually, and it is the Synology DS918+. Plus. It just gives it all. It is affordable. It's a four-bay NAS that's Intel-powered with a J3455 CPU that has a uh, transcoding engine in embedded graphics, and it also arrives with 4 gig of DDR3 memory that can be upgraded to 8 gig. It also has two NVMe bays, that's SSD bays, inside that support the hard drive bays by creating an area of super fast cache that improves internal operations which will assist the cpu and ultimately create much faster renderings than without it and if you are running a plex media server operation and you want to transcode 1080p and 4k this is a good entry point don't get me wrong particularly dense 4k media will not be transcodable on this device but 4k output and 1080p transcoding different story and as an entry point into plex media server you cannot go wrong this nas arrives at about four to five hundred pounds without the vat and without the hard drive media which means once you populate it with one or two hard drives and add some more later maybe an ssd somewhere down the line you're going to spend less than a grand on a net on a plex media server solution that delivers a great deal of stuff i could talk about synology's dsm software but i'm not going to talk too much about that i've got other videos about that and i want to focus predominantly on plex where is it good affordability output usability and how easy it is to set up where does it fail it can't really hit the top rate media kind of stuff the stuff at the top end of the spectrum it's going to struggle um, and ultimately when it comes to plex media server it is definitely a device that you should be looking at my cat's just wandering around in the background sorry about that when it comes to as an entry point for Plex Media Server, this is definitely a great way to go. Now, the second NAS I want to talk about today is even older. And you know which one it's going to be if you watch my other videos, because it's the same NAS I've spoke about for the last two years for Plex. It's a device that arrives with a Xeon-based CPU that, although it doesn't have a transcoding engine or embedded graphics, it's still in incredibly powerful it is the ds3617xs this 12 bay nas solution and it's xeon quad core cpu and 16 gig of ddr4 memory is super high powered it may have been released in early 2017 which is coming up on three years ago 
but it's still a great device. In Plex Media Server performance, even without the transcoding engine, the raw power of that CPU can transcode anything, and it can certainly play about multiple streams of 1080p and 4K natively and without transcoding simultaneously. This will play pretty much anything you throw at it. Just remember and bear in mind when it comes to transcoding, it's not just the file format, the bit rate and more, but it's the sheer length and density of the file and how you behave with the media file. If you keep skipping forward 10 seconds, you may run into a problem. But from Synology, it is by far their best Plex Media Server solution and it still continues to be one of my favorites thanks to the CPU, the 12 bays of storage, the five years of warranty, the expandability with the 4LAN and the PCIe, and just generally being one of the most user-friendly NAS brands out there. But it's not the best NAS for Plex. Right now, there was a NAS that was released earlier this year that for me is now my ultimate Plex media server NAS. It's not the cheapest, arriving at around 16 to 1700 quid, but the QNAP TVS 872XT is a beast. Disclaimer, straight off the bat, it does arrive with a whole host of things that you Plex Media Server users are probably never going to use. I mean, if you could rip a lot of that stuff off before buying it, it would be great. But in order to make this solution, QNAP have created a powerful NAS that can do so, so much. And as a Plex Media Server user, you might only be using this small bit. So do remember that. But why have I picked the TVS 872XT? It's a six core i5 eighth generation CPU, which has got uh, embedded graphics, hyper threading. It is a insane CPU that will transcode pretty much anything. On top of that, it arrives with 16 gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded up to 32 gig. It's got two NVMe SSD bays inside to support the eight bays of storage, each supporting up to 16 terabytes each. And the two NVMe bays can be used for raw storage or to power and work with via a system of caching the main internal operations of this device, providing insane performance. Now, let's talk about some of those facilities and features that I talked about that you're probably not gonna use, but you might and therefore you should know about them. It's a Thunderbolt 3 enabled NAS, meaning you can interact with this device directly over Thunderbolt 3 in your Mac or Windows system and get between 800 to 1200 megabytes per second transmission. On top of that, you've got 10 GBE to get up to 1000 megabytes per second up and down to this device. And if you want to edit or back up to the device, that is an option open to you. You've got uh, two PCIe slots, one taken by the Thunderbolt card that allow you to add better network interface cards and more caching or a graphics card to even further improve the internal operation if at some point in the years to come you need to install a graphics card. It is a monster of a NAS. I haven't even mentioned the fact that it's got a 60 frames per second 4K HDMI out that can be used in Plex. You can attach this directly to your TV via HDMI and have zero, of you know, close to zero latency of your incredibly dense 4K media without relying on the network or the internet. Just NAS direct to TV, remove the network. And at the same time, connected users over the network and the internet can have transcoding of 1080p and 4K files at exactly the same time. You can enjoy the media from your sofa with the remote control and still have transcoded media being watched by your kids upstairs, your cousin in Nebraska or something, and basically everyone can enjoy their media via Plex on this device, along with all of the applications that are included. And that's why it is my favorite Plex media server NAS of this year. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you wanna learn more about this device and all the other devices I've talked about today with specifications, where to buy and more and how they compare, Go to the NAS Compare link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this and want to learn more, click subscribe. I'll see you next time.